Good evening, everybody. It's Minister Lou. Let's take a look tonight at the book of Jude. It's one chapter. It is 25 verses. And it's essentially a letter. It's called the Epistle, the General Epistle of Jude. I believe epistles were letters. <clears throat> so let's see what this says. My cat actually wants to talk about this. You hear him? <laughs> Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James to them that are sanctified by God the Father and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. Mercy unto you and peace <coughs> and love be multiplied. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. For there are certain men crept in unawareness, unawares, who were before the old ordained <coughs> to this condemnation. Ungodly men turned the grace of our God to lasciviousness, and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. I will therefore put you in remembrance. Though you once knew this, <coughs> How that the Lord, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. And that's true. While Moses was up on the hill, or the mount, excuse me, getting the Ten Commandments, a lot of his people decided to get back to the idol worship and just being wild people. Very wild people. And uh, the man who essentially brought up the rebellion of God after he freed him him and his followers were swallowed by the earth the earth opened up and just swallowed them and closed back up it said not in those words but we will get into the book of Exodus one day <laughs> oh yes we will <clears throat> and the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitash, habitation, he hath reserved in everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day, even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in the like manner, giving themselves over to fornication and going after strange flesh and set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise also, these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a railing accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. But these speak evil of those things which they know not. But what they know naturally as brute beasts in those things, they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them, for they have gone in the way of Cain. Cain, his way. I know we haven't read this together yet, but for those who know or don't know, Cain had jealousy in his heart. He was jealous of his brother Abel because God favored him. He was so jealous that he became the world's first murderer. And not only did he become the world's first murderer, he lied to God when God questioned where Abel was. Lied to him. Directly to God. No, no, we don't do that. That is not the way you want to go. He was very much cursed for his deeds. And ran greedily after the heir of Balaam for reward, and perished in the gainsaying of Kor. <clears throat> there are spots in your feast of charity when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Clouds they are without, water carried about of winds, trees whose fruit withered without fruit twice dead, plucked up by the roots. 
Raging waves of the sea, foaming out their own shame. Wandering stars to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these things, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousand of his saints to execute judgment upon all and to convince all that are ungodly among them of their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lust, and their mouth speaketh great swelling words, having men pers men's persons in admiration because of advantage. But, beloved, remember ye the words which were spoken before of the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how they told you there should be mockers in the last time. Boy, are there not mockers today? I believe that there are. I've had a couple of, uh, I'm not going to say arguments, but uh, maybe they were. I don't know. This is before I understood that we're not meant to argue with people about God being real. I wouldn't say I was arguing, but I would say that I was giving them questions that I don't believe they could answer and they didn't really touch. That's the way that I will put it. It was definitely before I understood that we're not meant to argue with these people. We're meant to give the word, and if they don't want it, just continue forth. God will handle it. Who shall walk after their own ungodly lust? These be they who separate themselves sensually, having not the Spirit. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And of some who have, and of some have compassion, making a difference, and others save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garments spotted by the flesh. Now unto him that is able to keep you from failing, falling. And to present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy. To the only wise God, our, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power both now and forever. Amen. Whew! That was a good one. Uh, thank you everybody for taking the time to watch this video. To listen and read along, maybe get the word for the first time. I do appreciate it. Whew. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, everybody. The time has come to repent of our sins. The time has come to accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. The time has come to know who Jesus Christ is. To come to know who our Heavenly Father is and how much He truly loves you. I love you guys. Jesus loves you guys. And our Heavenly Father loves you guys. Shalom.